All right, so we're going to check out Garrett Nussmeyer and look at some of his best throws from LSU's win against South Carolina yesterday or this past week and whenever you're watching this video. My, my first takeaway is right off the bat is this NFL throws. R like right off the bat, you, you, from the out routes to the deep throws, it's just NFL throws that Garrett Nussmeyer is able to make. I think the issue with LSU yesterday offensively was hard to get in a consistent rhythm. It was like flashes and flashes and flashes, right? But with that said, let's go ahead and check out some of Nuss's best throws from the game against a really good South Carolina defense who uh, was able to get selective pressure uh, when needed. But Nuss was able to have some really nice throws. This is the first kind of really good throw of the game. This is the second quarter. Uh, again, took them a little bit to get in rhythm, LSU's offense. Uh, this throw led to some really good run plays after, and LSU was able to score their first touchdown. Over the middle, I believe to Taylor here, we're going to see Nuss place the ball here. And what I liked about Nuss yesterday, we saw several different type of throws, uh, but they weren't able to to dial up a ton of deep throws. But when they did, he was 3-3 three three when the ball was going 20 yards or more downfield. All right, so South Carolina just brings three here, right? So they have eight. They drop back eight, really good protection up front. LSU's all aligned did really good yesterday, too. It was just a really good battle in the trenches yesterday. Nuss finds his tight end, able to layer it layer it in the perfect position possible right again looks like an easy throw but it's a really nice throw whenever you have eight guys dropping back so this throw here is what kind of led LSU's offense to kind of get into a rhythm to kind of be able to to kind of start taking some steps forward here let's go see what the next play is again we have like six or seven throws from Nuss and I think that the best throws at least in my opinion are the last three or four maybe all right so Ah, go ahead here again this is broadcast if you haven't watched this before we have to use broadcast footage so i do apologize uh, but does a good job still just getting the point across getting the job done here all right so over the middle of the field this was like a second and 12 here again uh south carolina something we talked about pregame is their ability to get pressure only bringing three or four now we saw them blitz some yesterday not a ton but we did see them blitz uh you know i think it was 40 percent of us's dropbacks they are blitzing but they did a good job disguising when they were blitzing and when they are just going to bring four. So they just bring four. They do get some pressure. Ness does a good job delivering the ball downfield on second and 12, tight space to a receiver in the middle of the field. Is that Lacey? I can't tell. No, it's not. Uh, gets upfield. This was a nice, good play on second and 12 from Ness here with pressure kind of closing around him. And, and, and just, just kind of a, a heads up. My favorite throw from Nuss yesterday, I actually wasn't able to find. Um, it was that out route. I don't know if y'all remember that out route that he layered it to Lacey before he even turned, but I wasn't able to get it, so I do apologize. All right, this next play, maybe my favorite throw that he had yesterday. We'll get him play it. He gets out of the screen a little bit. This is going to be down the field. You see him layer it, I believe, is it to Anderson? I can't remember exactly, but it's a nice Good throw, a perfect two ball. So not a not 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 in a line, not a bomb. Kind of right in between, able to layer it as he's taking a hit right here. Pressure delivers a good ball here, takes a shot and just layers it nicely as he's taking a hit. Yeah, that's a really really tough throw. Uh, if we if we could find the behind the angle footage, that would be even more impressive. But yeah, that's the Anderson. Really good throw there, layered it between the uh, linebackers and the DBs and the safeties there. Really good job that by Nuss Marigan. So takes a shot. South Carolina gets pressure, just bringing four, and is able to throw a not perfect two ball. All right, so let's see what throw we got coming up next. Sorry, again, this is taking a little bit longer here. All right, so touchdown throw to, I believe, Taylor. This was right before the half. I'm not mistaken right right before the half no no not to Taylor. i'm sorry this is to lacy here yeah i believe this was before the half though this is a good play action gets defense out of position just enough right gets this guy out of position just enough to have a hole here for nuss to throw that ball for a touchdown kind of falling backwards but great throw to lacy here db playing off coverage but gets that middle backer out of position Four touch. All right, so we got three more throws I want to go through. These are probably my favorite throws besides that third throw where he layered it between the DB and the and the linebacker, the second and third level. This is going to be the long, deep pass to, I think, Anderson here. And again, is it Anderson? I forget the name. I apologize. Number one, LSU fan, correct me in the comments. I, I, I apologize. Hey, but we, we talk all SEC quarterbacks. So uh, excuse me if I mistaken or misname some, some uh, of the receivers, right? But this is my favorite throw. Again, Nussmeyer was 3 of 3 when the ball was thrown 20 yards or more in the air. I think they could have had some more success pushing it downfield, but that was a good offensive game plan, not kind of going down that route. Just because South Carolina, 
was getting some pressure and they didn't have all the time in the world for those plays to develop. But when you're able to take shots, they were pretty successful still. All right, so we see South Carolina just brings four here. Let's see, does Nuss take a shot here? Yeah, I think pressure does come to him, right? Yeah, pressure gets to him. This is a perfect throw to number one for LSU. I think the name's Anderson. Again, LSU fan, correct me if I'm mistaken. But I love this throw just because as a, as a quarterback, if you see your receiver even, he's leaving. If you've watched the channel before, you've, you've heard us say that before, but if he's even, he's leaving. Throw it to space. It's exactly what he does. And I think it was a PI here, if I'm not mistaken. Throw it to space. Let your guy go get it. Really good throw by by Nussmeier. And, and that right there, like when you can complete those type of deep balls, that's going to be in the back of the defense's head, even as they're trying to bring pressure. Really good throw there by Anderson. Okay, another really, I mean by Nussmeier, to Anderson, I think. Again, correct me. All right, another really good throw. Uh, I, I know I said the last one was my favorite one. This may be my favorite one. Pressure comes. I believe this is a third and seven, crucial third and seven. LSU is down at this position, uh, or down the game. Third and seven, and again, don't remember the name of the receiver, but middle of the field, pressure comes. Let's see, it's a plan. Yeah, they bring pressure. How much do they bring here? They bring one, two, three, four, five, six. They bring seven? I believe they bring one, two, three, four. No, they, they bring six. They, 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 no, they do bring seven. Okay, they do bring seven. Right, and we're going to see Nuss throw it before the receiver is able to turn. Let me move myself out, out of the way. Nuss throws it before the receiver is able to turn here. Again, probably my favorite throw. I keep saying that about Nuss. He made so many good throws. Off platform, falling backwards, delivers a great ball to Anderson to number one again. Wow, yeah, great ball again. This this actually might be my favorite throw again. NFL throw after NFL throw that we saw from Nuss. It was just not being able to do it consistently as an offense as a whole. By the end of the day, man, you found a way to win. Pressure comes. Arm angle is able to kind of manipulate his arm angle as he's falling backwards, put some juice in the ball. Good route by the receiver to get open as well. So I think we got one more. Yeah, we got one more throw a watch from us. Again, my favorite throw we weren't able to, I wasn't able to, to get. This is the broadcast footage. We don't have the all 22 quite yet, but Still hopefully does a good enough job getting the point across. So th th this throw was to, uh, was to Lacey. This was the one that initially was over was, was, a, uh, was called an incompletion, and they got overturned to be a completion. This was Nuss kind of rolling out here. And they tried to get Nuss rolling out on the pocket more. This was him just scrambling. But they tried to get Nuss rolling out just to uh, buy more time and slow down that pass rush. Did he scramble? No, he did not. I apologize. So really good job here, but off its line. Boom. But you see that they had to keep in, what, six? 6v4 maybe, 7v4 with the running back. Really good throw by Nuss to Lacey, who makes a great catch, right? Re re really, really good game overall. I know if you're a South Carolina fan, it's it's, it's kind of heartbreaking how, how you lost. If you're an LSU fan, just happy to get out of there. Uh, but I thought it was a good game overall. But if you're an LSU fan, quarterback fan, SEC fan, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think of Nuss Meyer's play yesterday? What was his, what was your favorite throw? Again, my favorite throw I wasn't able to find. Maybe I should have looked harder. Uh, but still some really nice NFL throws by Nuss. And it's good to have some mistakes and find a way to bounce back like Nuss was able to do uh, yesterday against South Carolina. But again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't seen this content or you haven't seen the channel before, please like, share, and subscribe. We put out SEC quarterback content on a weekly basis. Follow us along. We'll see you next time. Peace.